Oh, I just wanted to detail the side of the property, the gable end and the brickwork. Uh, firstly, with the wall at the front. Uh, this is moving independently, it's not tied in. So we would need to take this down and rebuild it back up if you so wanted it there. Around the base, we're going to need some, some detailing work because the water is just sitting uh, left like this. It can cause rising and penetrating damp. And also need some, some work along here as well, right along the base to keep the water away from the building. The side of the wall, it's had an old black weather seal paint applied. It's coming off in areas. It's gonna need a jet wash and a chemical clean to bring it bring it back. I'm going to double check with our point in division and to see how far this could clean up for you. Uh, but 100% it needs a grind and points. You can see in the joints, a lot of the mortar is deteriorating. As it's on the gable end, you're exposed to all the elements, so this will cause penetrating damp over time, getting through the cracks. If the wind's blowing in from this direction, you can see it's just gonna start to affect your property. So this is absolutely essential on this gable end. To preserve your property, 100%. The extension is obviously been done fresh, but the entire gable of the main house does need a dressing. On the edge of the property, I'm not entirely sure how much of a how much of an overhang we've had, but the minimum is three inches, and it looks like we've got a very thin layer of sand and cement. So there is a slight overhang. We'd like to put a Kruger aluminium dry verge along the end, which I'll detail for you further uh, when undertaking the re-roof.